You know, there's a lot of bad going on in the world, but there's a lot of good too. Like for example, today the Sun Joe came in, finally got a pressure washer to wash my car. Just washed up the ST, it looks amazing. Uh, so that looks really good. Just gotta do some minor detailing and drying to get it finished. The M2, as you can see, this is the filthiest, filthiest it has ever been. Um, I took it up to Alpine over the 4th of July. I was up there again in Arizona. And uh, yeah, I had to go about a half mile up a dirt road in it. So it's filthy right now, but I was waiting for the Sun Joe to come in so I could get it cleaned up. But there's, you know, there's good hot hatch news and we'll get to that in a second. I need to flip the cars around here. what happens when you give me a pressure washer. Anyways, um, yeah, M2 is a filth bucket. We're gonna get it cleaned up. But let's talk about what I recently discovered on the Toyota website. Obviously, I'm a psychopath. I go on all these websites, car websites, look at cars that I can't afford, but if I could, I'd have like 60 cars right now. I was looking at the Toyota website and I see that they're coming out with a hot hatchback. It's some sort of GR racing. It's probably going to be uh, the Corolla, the hatch version, which is an absolutely beautiful car. I mean, if you've seen it, like the Sport with the spoiler, 18 inch wheels, it looks really good. It just has no power. So now they are going to come out with a hot version of that. And it's funny, you lose the Focus ST, the Fiesta ST, you know, the whole Ford hot hatch lineup, but now you get another company stepping in with a hot hatch. So you currently have the Civic Type R, you have the Golf R, you have the Golf GTI, and then you're going to have this hot hatch back from Toyota, which is going to fill that gap. So I, I'm really excited. For hot hatch owners in the US, we're not dead yet. I am probably gonna be selling mine in August when my Tesla Model Y comes in. I don't know if I mentioned that on here yet, I mentioned it on Twitter, but I'm getting a Tesla Model Y and I'm selling the Focus ST. So it'll be a Y and a BMW M2, and I'll be doing all kinds of things with the Y, and then eventually I might actually get the Velocir N uh, once it comes out with the dual clutch in the United States, but that'll probably be sometime next year. But that's the update for right now. Uh, yeah, let's get the M2 cleaned up. Both cars cleaned up back in the garage. Pressure washer worked nicely. What I've learned though is I need to pressure wash to get the base layer of stuff off and then I need to still have a bucket and sponge and go over the car once. Um, I don't think just uh, spraying your car down with foam um, and then pressure washing it off is enough. Even if you do that twice, it just isn't enough to get the deeper stuff, the deeper dirt and dust that's on the paint and actually scrub it off. So just a light uh, once over with the sponge is absolutely necessary. Now on to the bigger issue. Um, some of you are definitely gonna be upset with me getting rid of the ST. I've already seen people say where they're unsubscribing. I honestly don't care. Uh, the type of person that I wanna to attract to the channel is not necessarily just because of the cars. If you think I'm funny or you like the content I create, that's the type of viewer that I need to attract to the channel. So I know I'm gonna lose some subscribers with the ST. And honestly, it's been a fun ride, but you need to change things up at some point. And I'm gonna be excited to sell it, put it up for sale um, on YouTube or wherever else I have it up. Because um, one of you will get a car that's been documented since day one, which is extremely rare. You get to look at the build and exactly what happened. I know from the outside it looks stock but internally there's a lot that I've done to make the car stronger and more reliable. That was my whole outset from the beginning is make this car ready for higher power and uh, just make it a, a reliable car while still being fun and having the aftermarket mods. So that was the plan, that's what I went with. Um, yeah, I could have done crazier things with it, but again, it was a car that I was going to be daily driving, I needed it to be reliable. So. Yeah, that's where we're currently at. We still got some ST videos to make. I'm gonna be making a part two secrets. I looked at your comments, I analyzed, and I'm bringing you another video there. But that's the update from the garage. The Tesla Model Y is on the way. I'm not gonna reveal what color or options I got, but it is awesome that they just did a $3,000 discount that I will be able to take advantage of. 
Um, and I'll also, if you're thinking of getting a Tesla, I'll have my referral link down in the description below. What that will do for you and me is give us each a thousand miles of free supercharging. So if you're taking a long trip, um, you can get a thousand miles totally free when you go to the supercharger. So benefits both of us, but I'll have that down below. Any questions you guys have, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.